Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the cantilever beam deflection formulas. There are different cantilever beams and we will have different loadings on this cantilever beam and we will find the maximum deflection for this cantilever beam with different types of the loading. So starting with the first cantilever beam from this one, the cantilever beam is a type of beam where the one end is fixed here, you can see here, and the other end is free. This end has no support here, so this end is free. Now, let's consider that there is a pointed or concentrated load here acting at the free end of the beam of magnitude P, and this is the total length of the beam, which will be L. So, the maximum deflection for this beam can occur at the free end, of course, so we will have maximum deflection here at this point and delta maximum we can find this from the formula PL cube divided by 3 EI. P is the magnitude of the pointed load, L is the length of the beam, the total length of the cantilever beam, 3 is the constant and EI this is known as the stiffness of this beam where E is the elasticity of the material from which this beam is made E of the material for example the concrete beam or the steel beam or aluminium beam so you should know the value of elasticity of this beam and I is the moment of inertia of the beam where for example you have a rectangular section then you should calculate the moment of inertia by this formula BH cubed divided by 12 or you have circular section or you have triangle section so I depend upon the section of the beam so this ei should be kept in each formula this ei is constant in all the deflection formulas the second is if there is a uniformly distributed load acting on the beam of magnitude w and the total length of the beam let's suppose is l so in the same case the maximum deflection we will see at the free end because it is the free there is no support so we will see here the maximum deflection and it will be equal to the W L power 4 into 8 EI. Now as I told you before EI will be remains the same in every beam formula. To find out the def deflection in each beam this will always be at the denominator. So E is the elasticity, I is the moment of inertia of the beam section and this formula W is the uniformly distributed load on the cantilever beam where L is the total length of the cantilever beam. So for this load we will use this formula to find out the maximum deflection at the end of the beam. The third case is when the pointed load acting at a distance of P is acting at a distance of A from the left end and B from the right end from the free support. So in this case the maximum deflection will also be at the free end here but in this case this load is not acting at the end of the beam so here the maximum deflection will be equal to the if this is the total length of the beam L so maximum deflection in this case will be equal to the P A square into 3 L minus A divided by 6 E I P is again the pointed load a is the distance from this fixed support up to the load A. 3 is constant. L is the total length of the beam. Again, A is the distance from this. This A is the distance from lift from the fixed end up to the load. And again, E I will be the uh, elasticity and moment of inertia of the beam. So now the fourth case will be if there is a triangular load acting on the beam. For example, this triangular load acting on the beam. So in this case, if this is a magnitude of W and this is a uniformly varying load, this load is now not the same as this uniformly distributed load. Now this is a uniformly varying load. So in this case, the maximum deflection will also be equal at the free end. And in this case, the maximum deflection will be equal to the 11 w l power 4 divided by this is l power 4 
dividing by 120 into EI. So where L is the total length of the beam. So in this case, W is the uniformly varying load, L is the total length of the beam, L1 by 120 is a constant here, and EI is the geometric property, uh, the material property and the geometric property of the beam. Now when the uniformly varying load starts from here, from zero magnitude up to maximum, if we have the load starting from this point up to this point, in this case it's starting from zero and it's increasing here, and increasing in maximum at this point, so now in this case the maximum deflection will again be here, we will see here the maximum deflection at this point, but in this case the formula will be different, because the magnitude of the load start from here is zero, and then it increases, increases, increases. So in this case, the formula will be equal to the W L power 4 into 30 by E I. So the W L power 4 is same as in this formula, but in this case we have 30 coefficient. Here we have 11 by 120. So the fourth case, when there is a movement, let's suppose M is acting on the beam so in this case if this is the length of the beam the, the maximum deflection will again be at the free end of the beam and this maximum deflection will be equal to the ml square divided by 2 ei so in this way we can find out our maximum deflection will which will be at the free end of the beam so hope you guys understand the different formulas for the different load condition on the cantilever beam and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.